So, lesson one, and this will be a very simple bit of video editing, just to you know get a feel for the wax environment and uh, some of its limitations, what it can do, what it can't do, how it does things. So, if we're going to create a simple little video, we need some simple little video clips. So, add media files, and conveniently, it takes me to the lesson one folder. We're going to be wanting the extra.avi and the intro.avi. <coughs> now, as I'm sure you spotted now, uh, Wax separates the video track from the audio track of any movie clips you import. I'm not sure why. Um, entire, I'm not entirely sure why they did this uh, for their as a design decision, but it works. So um, this is free. Who's complaining? Now. To get this onto the timeline is monumentally simple and will be quite familiar to anyone who's used anything. You drag and you drop. In case you didn't get that first time, you drag and you drop. If you've ever done any .NET programming before, well, you'll be quite at home at this. Drag and drop monkeys as they are. Now, the audio facilities in Wax are a little bit primitive. To it, we have the video track, and we have the audio track. We hit play, and dead silence. Yes, <clears throat> for some reason it doesn't always like, well, for some reason it doesn't seem to want to play the audio track. Terror! No. Um, a bit of playing about, and I discovered that if you move the first render area marker up and down a bit, and then put it back, it... I don't know why that's... a voila sound. I don't know why that's the case. It just is. Now, <clears throat> this blue bit here. This, as I said before, links to dynamic RAM, the dynamic RAM preview option in preferences. What it is, is basically how much RAM will be used to create a dynamic preview of your video. The more RAM, the more of the pre video you can preview before you render. Now, one significant drawback here is that there's no way to just automatically set this to pre-render, if you like, your entire video. And this is not that much of a problem when you've just got what we're going to be doing here, which is a simple what one, two, three, like two second. When we're working with you know simple two second video clips that aren't going to have a lot of manipulation done to them, but when you're going to have you know perhaps four, five, six tracks all composited on top of each other, all implementing different video effects, it could start to the jerkiness of your video preview may start to get a bit um, wearing. <clears throat> but never mind, this is free, and it's the more I use it, the more I actually quite like it. But uh, let's continue. So, what we're basically just going to do here for our simple little video is um, crop a bit off uh, some of these videos, but basically just join the intro.avi with the extro.avi. So now we drag and drop the extro.avi. <gasps> Oh dear, we can't put it next to... Yes. Each video and each audio file you might want to add to your timeline will have to have its own track. Now, <clears throat> again, this is not a problem in and of itself, but I I don't know, I, just, I can see it, again, wearing quite thin when you've got, you know, 15 or 20... Um, video or audio tracks and you know having 15 or 20 separate um, tracks or more when it's a you know a 20 second clip that you could in say Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas have on three or four tracks but again that's another digression um, <clears throat> so we'll increase the render area hit play And 
end. Ah, uh, lovely, isn't it? So we've successfully managed to link these two video clips together. Uh, just for fun, we're going to crop some of this off now. Um, now, there's no, as far as I can tell, cut option. Which could perhaps, again, be another slight bit of annoyance, because in other programs I actually quite like just getting it to there, getting the cut option and go cut, cut. But we can't do that here. So what we can do is crop it thusly. No, 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 no get yeah, damn your eyes. All right, and we'll take up a similar amount. No, that's better. <laughs> here and here, and we'll just move it down there so they overlap somewhat. We'll juice the render area. Hit play. Hmm, that didn't come out too badly. Now that we've got our simple little video clip. Well, we're going to want to export it so we can watch it without having to fire up WAX. So, project, render, and happily it has rendered using the settings we had here, which in this case was just Vida AVI as the name, um, 320 by 240 at 24 frames per second, and totally uncompressed. Just in case something goes wrong, we'll quickly save that as lesson one project. And now let's find our video. Movie stuff. Wax tutorial, lesson one it should be. And there it is, video.avi. Open that with Windows Media Player. And... Our first lovely three-second video clip.